Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to put together some outfits from the popular western TV show Hell on Wheels. And this outfit video will probably be my last, at least for a long long time, because I've decided to take a break from this game for an unforeseeable future, mostly due to how bad Rockstar has updated the game. The hype for the game is gone and my videos are getting less and less views. So I felt that it don't make sense for me to keep making videos that fewer and fewer people watch. But we'll see what happens here in the future on the channel. I haven't decided yet what to do with the channel right now. I just wanted to let you guys know what's up. Anyhow, today we're going to put together some outfits here in Red Dead Online that are inspired by the TV show Hell on Wheels, which is a fantastic western TV show. So we're going to recreate Thomas Durant, the Swede Thor Gunderson, and Cullen Bohannon's outfit, and many many more. So, let's do this. The first outfit we're going to put together today will be Thomas Durant's outfit. And this guy is the Vice President of the Union Pacific Railroad. So he's a big shot and he wears rather fancy clothes, so let's try to put together his outfit then. And to do that we need a white everyday shirt and a grey paisley vest. We also need the brown tuxedo pants and some black gaiters. And then we can add the blue navy string tie and let's add the brown drifter hat and a beige worsted coat. And if you have the red row barrel necktie, I think we're going to change to that instead. And we're also going to need the black agency gun belt. And here we have Thomas Durant's outfit. I think that the red necktie was an improvement, even if it's not the same color as the necktie that he has on this picture. But I dig the outfit. I think it's rather fancy, but also kinda neat. So let's move on now. And next up we have Elam Ferguson, one of my favorite characters of this TV show. And he was played by rapper Common, and he does a real good job on this TV show. So let's see if we can recreate his style then. And to do that we need the green union suit and the black traditional vest. We're also going to need the brown horsemanship gun belt and some dirty black clerk pants. And then we can add the cloverly boots and the green leather jacket. And we're going to need that beige worn stovepipe top hat. And here we have Elam Ferguson. And I'm not going to spoil anything from the TV show, so I won't go into details here. But overall, I think that Elam was one of the best characters on the show. He was definitely one of the good guys. And he had a rather cool style with that beige top hat of his. So let's leave Elam now. And next up is the Swede, Thor Gunderson, who really is from Norway, but everyone calls him the Swede. And this guy changes his appearance quite a bit during the show, but I went with an outfit here that would fit him well overall, I think. So let's do this. And we can start by adding the grey everyday overshirt. And let's add the black double breasted lapel vest. And the black padded saddle work pants. We can also go with the black agency gun belt. And the black cloverly boots. And let's add the grey fern water coat. And the pink pattern bandana. And we can also go with the Gallywood wraps here from the Outlaw Pass. And here we have Thor Gunderson, also known as the Swede. And I think that the actor that played Thor Gunderson is rather talented. I mean, he plays this somewhat crazy character in a really good way, I think. And uh, this outfit is from the early years of the TV show, but as I said, he changed his appearance several times later on. So let's leave the Swede now. And uh, next up we have Joseph Blackmoon who is a Native American character that has left his tribe to live and work on Hell on Wheels, which is where they build that railroad across America. So let's try to put together Joseph's outfit then, 
And to do that, we need the row bearer shirt. And then we can go with the black traditional vest. And let's go with the dark gray studded pants and the black cobbled boots. And then we need the black western homburg hat. And I think we can change the shirt into a gray everyday over shirt. And here we have Joseph Black Moon. And Joseph was a character that was kind of stuck between his family, who were of the Cheyenne tribe, and the life that he wanted to live. And he was an overall good guy and a likable character. But the next character we're going to try to recreate today is not a likable character. Because we're going to do John Campbell next. And he is the governor of Wyoming and is prepared to do just about anything to uphold the law. Even if that means bending the law to his liking. So let's try to recreate his outfit now. And we can start with the white French dress shirt. Or any white shirt will do if you don't have that one. And then we can go with the black Richfield vest. And the black clerk pants. And let's add some cloverly boots. And a red dress tie. And we're going to need the black Antoine jacket. And the green derby high hat. The high hat hasn't got the right color, but I think this one is the closest thing here. And here we have Mr. John Campbell. And this guy was kind of an asshole, even if he was the governor that tried to uphold the law. And he wore rather fancy outfits, as a governor should. And the next outfit we're going to do here today will be Sidney Snow's outfit. And this guy was something of a wild man, so let's try to put together his outfit then. And we can start with the grey collar over shirt. And let's go with the black traditional vest. And some brown studded pants. And let's check the boots, we're going to go with the brown one ropers boots. And the brown gunslinger gun belt. And let's add the black row barrel hat. And here we have Sydney Snow's outfit. And uh, this outfit reminds me a bit of Cullen Bohannon's outfit. It's kind of similar in my opinion. And if you don't have the black Robero hat, you can always go with the black stalker hat. So let's try to recreate Mickey McGinnis outfit next. And he and his brother Sean who were born in Ireland. But they went to America to seek their fame and fortune. So. Let's try to recreate Mickey's outfit then, and we can start with the white everyday over shirt. Let's go with the yellow maddock vest, and the greenish studded pants. Let's add the brown horsemanship gun belt, and some black cobbled boots. And then we can open up the collar, and let's add the green everyman jacket. And I think we can change the vest into a green Richfield vest instead. And a white collar over shirt. Yeah, I think this looks better. And here we have Mickey McGinnis outfit. And this one is rather weird looking in its pale green colors, but it is what it is. And now it's time for the man himself, Cullen Bohannon. And we're going to put together two of his outfits. So let's start with the first one that I've decided to call Cullen Bohannon's black outfit. And I've decided to go with the bold long haired haircut here because it looks most like his hair when you have the hat on. So keep the hat on on all occasions and this will be the best haircut for Cullen. So let's start with the hat then and I've decided to go with the black row barrel hat. And then we can add the grey everyday over shirt and the black leather opulent vest. And let's go with the black embossed gunslinger gun belt and the dark padded saddle work pants. And then we can go with the black one ropers boots and the black classic frock coat. And here we have Cullen Bohannon's black outfit. And this looks rather cool, but we're going to try to recreate his classic outfit now. You know, the outfit that he wears more or less throughout the full series. And I think we can start from here, so we just need to remove the coat. And then we can switch out the vest into a green Maddox vest. And let's add the brown studded pants instead. And we can also roll the sleeves. 
And here we have Colin Bohannon's classic outfit. So let me know down in the comment section if you have seen Hell on Wheels and what you thought of it. And which one of these outfits you like the most. And I can highly recommend that you watch Hell on Wheels. It's my favorite contemporary western TV show because I think it's even better than Deadwood and Westworld if you're familiar with those. And if you enjoyed these outfits make sure to smash that like button as well and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And feel free to give me some tips on the future for this channel. Should I do other games? Should I return to Red Dead after my break? Or what do you guys want to see here on the channel in the future? Let me know your thoughts because nothing is decided yet but I will take a break so don't be surprised if I don't post anything new in a couple of weeks or so. And uh, thanks for watching and thank you guys for all the support that you have shown me over the years. I might have a small channel but I'm grateful for all your support. And uh, that's it folks, I hope I'll catch you guys further down the trail someday. Bye bye.